Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing this foundation and concealer routine to get full flawless, perfect skin. This is what I do every single day, no fail. I don't use any other products because I found that these ones are perfect for my skin. I will be using the Revlon Color Stay Foundation. I use the color 150 Buff. This is an amazing full coverage foundation that is dewy, it sets beautifully, you don't have to set it with a powder, super, super, super beautiful. And I'll also be using the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer as the concealer for my eyes and also to prime my eyelids for eyeshadow. I use the Josie Maron Argon Oil slash Argon Milk for my moisturizer. It doesn't seem like a very important part of the skincare routine, but to make your skin look like skin and not so foundation-y, I use the Balm's Mary Luminizer and I'll show you that trick in a moment. And also, you want to make sure that you are using a beauty blender. Do not use a brush, and I will show you why in the video not to use a brush. I, well, you can use a brush if you want, it's your life, you can live it the way you want to. But I, if you want skin that's like this, I use a beauty blender. This is the Real Techniques Miracle Complexion Sponge, which is a better dupe in my opinion for the beauty blender. Beauty blender is an excellent product, it's about $20 for one versus $5 for one. You can buy this at Ulta or you can buy it online. Beauty blender you can buy at Sephora or online. Like I said, both are great, but I just prefer this one. It's really easy to use and you want to make sure, when you see me using this in the video, this is used damp. So you want to squeeze it under warm running water for maybe like 10-15 seconds until it's big and plump. Before you do that, the egg is like this big and then it plumps up and becomes really squishy. And you want to make sure you squeeze all the excess water out of it and then you use it. Squeeze it real hard. You can even squeeze it inside of a towel at the end to make sure that all of the water is out and it's just really damp and spongy at that point. So now I'm going to move on to the foundation routine and you guys can see how I did this bald face. So first what you want to do is make sure that your face is clean and exfoliated. Dry skin is one of the main reasons that people's skin looks really bad. Even when they do their foundation, they're like, ugh, my skin just looks really bad, this isn't a good foundation. It's not the foundation, it's your skin underneath. If you have a bunch of dry, flaky skin, your foundation is just gonna look dry and flaky. So make sure that you moisturize the shit out of your face, and also make sure that you have exfoliated before you're doing that. Um, I normally use my Josie Marin Argon Milk. I am out, so I'm just gonna be using the little bottle and the dropper, but it's just Argon Oil. So I'm just make sure that you moisturize your face before you do your foundation. It's just really important. Take your foundation. I'm using the Revlon Colorstay. I always use this my holy grail foundation. Um, some people, like I had a friend message me and say, eh, I didn't really like it, it seemed kind of sheer coverage. Just make sure you're applying it right. I would apply it like this. I would dot it all over your face and then I would apply it with a damp beauty blender sponge. I would never use a brush, I would never use anything else on foundation. And I'll explain to you why in just a moment. So first I'm going to explain to you why I don't use a brush for my foundation. I'm going to use a brush right over here and then I'm going to use the rest for a beauty blender. But I'm going to buff this in and at a far distance you're going to be like, that looks like great coverage. Wow, what a great coverage, right? I don't know if you can see it in the camera as well as you can see it in person, but you can see every brush stroke. You can see that I've applied it with a brush. It looks really nasty and cakey and like I applied it with a brush. No matter how much I buff it in, which people are going to just keep buffing. You shitting my pants right now? Hence why I use a beauty blender. Your foundation will look perfect every time. Do not wipe. Bounce. And I like to use the flat side of the Miracle Complexion Sponge. You can use just a regular beauty blender. They both work exactly the same. I like this one because it's $5 versus $20. But whatever you have works. Some of the beauty blenders are really crappy, so make sure you stick with either one of these two, but you're golden if you do. As you can see, this is a full coverage foundation. It covered up all of my redness, especially because of the beauty blender. Had I not been using this and just been wiping it on with either my fingers or a brush, you're removing a lot of product because you're rubbing in and that's not, this foundation isn't made to be done that way. Foundation is made to be blotted onto an area and left there because once it dries, it's gonna stay in place. And don't worry, it's not cakey at all. For concealer, I use the MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NC15. I like this because it adds a highlight under my under, under off. It adds a highlight under my under eyes. And I also use this as a base for my shadows because MAC, fucking cats. I also use this as a base for my eyeshadows because MAC Pro Longwear Concealer is also formulated to be a really good primer for your eyelids. So 
I just make sure I use one pump of this on the back of my hand. I take a little bit on my index finger and I pat it underneath my under eyes and a little bit on the top of my eyes and blend it out with my beauty blender. For this I like to use the pointed side of the egg sponge shape. I think that it works better uh, for getting into the nooks and crannies of your eyes. So it seems like because I am showing you my foundation and concealer routine, why would I be adding highlight into that and not doing a blush and contour routine? And that's because part of my foundation routine is to use a highlight as making my skin look more skin-like. And you'll see what I mean in just a moment. I apologize if all of you guys are like can see the camera moving. My cat is rubbing his face on my leg and he won't leave me alone no matter how many times I throw him off. Now if you don't like dewy uh, glowing skin. Now skip this step. You can just finish with this and this will be your foundation routine. Because I like my skin to look a little more skin like, I like to take my Sigma F35 tapered highlighter brush and the Balm's Mary Luminizer and just put that on the high planes of my cheekbones, a little up onto my forehead, but the most important part is down the bridge of your nose. Cupid's bow and a tad bit on your chin. What that does is it almost accentuates, I wouldn't say it accentuates your pores, this is going to come off really wrong. It makes the porcelain doll appearance of your skin appear a little more youthful and purposeful. Sometimes if you're wearing just foundation it can look a little too foundation-y, but if you just add a little bit of highlight, it turns it back into skin instead of foundation face. So now you can see my skin looks like skin because I've got this really luminous highlight on it. This brush is amazing for doing a highlight by the way. I'm going to link every single product that I have used in this video in the description of this video so you guys can just click the links and shop from there if you'd like to. Helps me out, helps you out. And that is my full foundation, concealer, and highlight routine. I do the highlight no matter what. It's part of my foundation routine, like I said. Um, you guys can skip that step if you just like a matte finish or if you don't like a shimmering highlight at all, but I do. All right, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. If you would like to subscribe to my YouTube channel, just click the links here or below. Also, if you want to, follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Those are all at Rob Beauty Christie. On Instagram, I'm posting every single day of 2015, so go follow me there if you want to see some really crazy, beautiful makeup looks. I also thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you at my next one. Bye.